Hey guys, what's going on? I just touched down in Denver. So I'm doing something super cool this week. I'm meeting my buddy Carlos. We rented a car, we're driving all the way to Ure, which is about five and a half hours away, and then we're going ice climbing. So Ure is a small little town that's out in the mountains. Rachel's actually not coming with me on this trip this week. We've been super pumped about this trip for a long time. Carlos is the guy that I climb with, and we want to do ice climbing this year to get ready for a huge climb that we're doing this summer. I always love coming into Denver, something about the mountains. Being up in this mountain town is pretty awesome. One of the interesting things about the Denver airport is that there's all these conspiracy theories that surround it. There's a bunch of murals spread throughout this airport, and each of them have kind of like a doomsday-esque feeling to them. Here's two of them right here. Go look around YouTube, there's some awesome conspiracy theory videos on what these murals mean. A lot of people say it's the New World Order coming to take over and this is the prediction of it. Pretty interesting. But now I gotta get my bags, I gotta meet Carlos. He's been here since 3 a.m. His flight got in super early because he works for UPS and he gets to jump on UPS flights but the times are not normal times. So he's been here waiting for me. Hopefully my bag's over here. This bag is a beast. This is 60 pounds of climbing gear. I don't know if you've noticed, but changed my setup a little bit for vlogging. So this is the first time in a while that I've been using my A6300 for vlog. And also I got a nice little microphone. I was getting tired of hearing all the clicks and clicks and clicks of my GoPro and all the things that, eh, and GoPro audio is kind of a pain because there's no good attachments now. So I switched to this camera, a little bit more cumbersome when I'm traveling and like going go, 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 but it'll make for better vlogs. Oh, well, that guy was super nice. He told me I was at the wrong area for waiting for the car. I have to go a level down. What's up? What's up? <laughs> who's back on the vlog? Carlos, I told you to get the big car. Sorry, the man. Big car. I don't know what I was thinking. Coming in this little like Fiat thing we got. There's a Prius in the back for us to take around. <laughs> you know what I mean? We just dropped the gate. <laughs> So one of the most essential stops whenever we do a climb. It seems like every time we're at an REI somewhere. We have to go to the REI. Because and you know what? The REI in Colorado is amazing. Here we go. Here so we, we go. had to go. We have to buy gear. We have to. Free Wi-Fi and inspiration. Marvy. Is that the one? Here, you... let me take yours. So we are looking oh, for glacier man. glasses. These are Jevons a steam pump fanatic. <laughs> glacier glasses, basically they cover because, you know, instead of being normal sunglasses where light can get in, light can't get in. And they look cool, right? Oh, so this ear thing. That artificial <laughs> nose too. It's beautiful. Well, what do you think, man? I think we came out with some good stuff. I think. So I don't necessarily want to talk about how much I spent on two articles of clothing and a pair of sunglasses, really but- nice pair of sunglasses. Just to give you some perspective, climbing gear is very expensive, and the jacket, which was 50% off, was still $200. And that was one thing. It's pretty, it matches your eyes. We got our gear, we got our coffee, and now we have to start heading towards Ure, which is five and a half hours away. So we gotta get on the road.
All right, we just made it to Here Ure. Are. Here we are. The endless journey. It was a long oh, five hour. Smoked. That was the longest five hours. <laughs> that was ever. long. But check out this town. We've been driving through like endless plains. And then we get here and we get to this like cool little town. And check this out. We're just surrounded by mountains. I would say it's very quiet. It kind of reminds me of like Park City, but like very few people and like. You're just out in the mountains. Lots of meat. Have you seen any meat? I think it's right there. I think it's right there. It's just meat. Got our lunches. I got the meat. You got the meat. <laughs> so, uh, what do you think, Jevin? I mean, uh, have you told Rachel that you're planning on getting a nice little place here and settling down? This looks like this looks like a good little town, right? I think so. It's pretty cute. I think he'll. I think he'll be good for two days. Two days is good. I think that'll be enough. All right, this is our home away home for the next two days. So this oh, is wow. Ore's finest. Home away from home. Here we are, our uh, palais. Look at this little room. This is all right. So there's my giant North Face bag, which holds all of our gear. This is our bathroom. Oh, what's up? We got saloon doors. Hey, I'm busy. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for the vlog today. Have We're a great going. night. Are we gonna have a great night together? We're, There's only one it's like bed. 7.30. It's like a double We've bed. We've been up since like three, so. This guy's been up for two days. <laughs> He's, so done. <laughs> He's so done. He's so done. done. I'm so done. That's it. I'm going back through my saloon so and we are done for the night. I'm gonna get my gear all ready to go. Get up early, get the show on the road. That's it, goodbye.